This is Amy Harity with 180 Magazine. We're here at the cocktail hour right before the Academy of Arts graduating show. Let's go see who we can talk to. I can't believe that it's already here. I can't believe that it's been nine months of absolute mayhem and I'm just proud, just proud. There was craziness everywhere just happening all over the place. My poor apartment smelled like a barn for a good month because we had actual sheep skin, like not the skin itself, but just the wool and looked like a sheep laying on the ground and we had to break it apart and comb out dirt and hay and poop. Music was, uh, we wanted some instrumental, something dark, something sexy, and we didn't really want uh, the same beats that you'd normally see at a fashion show. So. It was a collaboration between myself and the fashion director and uh, no, he's he, he definitely has a major. So he's British, so he has a big, you know, English influence. We we collaborate really well together. Electric would be the word to describe the energy here. After four years of hard work, it all comes down to one night. The Academy of Art graduating fashion show consists of 17 collections. Each designer has surprised us with unexpected creativity, but only one will be awarded an internship with designer Ralph Rucci. I'm shocked. This is a professional show. The amount of staging, and it's a professional, real show that, that this, this school mounts. It's extraordinary, totally extraordinary. They do things big here in San Francisco. Tonight, this entire tent will be filled with guests anxiously awaiting 17 graduating collections. Among these guests will be Saks Fifth Avenue's Michael Fink, star stylist and owner of Decades Cameron Silver, and designers James Galanos and Ralph Rucci. As the clock ticks, the tension builds. Not falling is one of my main uh, priorities. You know, making sure your walk is smooth and even, kind of like you're just flowing, making the clothes look hot. The thing I really like about the school is that they've always had a very, very, very creative vision and their students are just remarkable. And you can tell that the students are a reflection of the staff. We were doing things like wrapping fabrics, wrapping them with stuff in them and boiling them and then putting them in the oven with between bricks and stuff. I've seen the collection that I'm wearing tonight and it's amazing. Um, one of my favorite pieces is a skirt that I'm wearing that's kind of got a diagonal hem. It's low cut. It's beautiful. It's called Street Gang. I guess it's supposed to be a little edgy. It's good. It's kind of creepy. I would say Europe. I would want to describe it as European. It's very sexy, very original. And did collegiate. Beautiful people, a lot of young, energetic stuff. Very nice, very glamorous, very, I guess, very San Francisco. Two step, new step, you get it brings the excitement, youth, and new talent. Absolutely. We're so lucky to have this school in town. It's very like art. It's, there's the big jackets that are very constructed, and my last outfit's a gown, and it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It is a great event for San Francisco, and I love what the kids put out. The individuality. I think San Francisco fashion shows a lot more individuality than other places. It's fantastic here. I thought it was wonderful. I mean, the students are really talented, and there was such a diverse array of aesthetics, which is exciting to see. I was wowed by every collection. Just incredible. Uh, I thought the clothes spoke just volumes about chic, sophistication and really uh, the incorporation of tweed and knitwear, it really was right up my boat. Tonight's show proves that good design is both disciplined craft and conceptual art. Perhaps Coco Chanel said it best, fashion does not exist in dresses only. It is in the sky, it is in the street. Fashion has to do with ideas, the way we live and what is happening. This is Amy Harity with 180 Magazine. The, that young boy who did that gazar sculpted thing, extraordinary. The kids. And the way they drape, and the way they work, the fabric, just really very special. The students are getting an opportunity of a lifetime. Two of them are going to go work with Ralph Rucci, who's just 
absolutely sets the standards in clothes. And I'm so proud of them. And I'm so glad that this university can can provide this opportunity for our fashion students. And Notre Dame started to dance and spread the fame of this collegian. Under the same tent, the Academy of Art University is hosting St. Vincent de Paul's fundraiser, Discarded to Divide, a fashion show where local designers have taken donated clothes and turned them into evening wear. Tonight's designs will be auctioned off to benefit the homeless.